Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's trick is called the $185 challenge. This is a trick that you can show somebody and uh, offer them the chance to potentially win some money if they want to participate. And what I've got on the table here is uh, some cards that we'll get to, a board with A, B, C, D, E, and F spaces, and I've got $185 on the table. I've got a 5, a 10, a 20, a 50, and a $100 bill. Uh, All together, that totals $185, and that's potentially what the spectator can win if everything goes well for them. Now, in order to play, all they have to do is put up $1. So I would borrow $1 from them kind of as their entry fee, and I'll I'll put this with the rest, and all this money here, which is mine, they can potentially win if everything goes well. So uh, to start off with, I would have the spectator put these six bills on any six spaces they want. Put one bill per space. Spectator can do whatever they want here. There's no force, nothing like that. Any bill can go on any space. So if there was a spectator here, I'd just have them do that, put the bills on the spaces however they want. Just to prove that it is random, I'll use a dice to assign where the bills start off. But again, this would be unnecessary if you had a spectator. So uh, I'll say this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'll just go the uh, go through the bills in order and put them on whatever space I roll, just to prove that it's random again. So I'll start with the $1 bill. Let's say that goes on space five. So right here, one, two, three, four, five. I'll do the five next. Let's say they put that on space four. One, two, three, and six left. Let's say they put the $10 bill on space six. Let's say they put the 20 right here, space one, 50 on either two or three, two, and then they put a $100 bill right there. Again, I'm just doing that to show that it is random. Any bill can start on any space, it doesn't matter. Now, the way this works is I've got some cards here, and we're going to go through these cards one by one. They have instructions on them or directions, and at certain points, we're going to take money off the table. Now, the way this works is that as soon as the $1 bill goes off the table, any money still on the board goes to the spectator. Game's over. Any money that's left goes to the spectator. So what the spectator wants is as soon as possible to get rid of this $1 bill. Again, as soon as that happens, anything left now belongs to the spectator. So we'll just go through these cards one by one. I think there's 12, uh, 12 steps altogether, and we'll see what happens. We'll see how much money the spectator can walk away with. So I'll turn these over here and we'll get started. So step one, switch the $10 bill and the $20 bill. Again, these bills could start on any space, but switch the 10 and the 20. So we'll just switch positions like that. Step two, I'll move these down here. Switch the $1 bill right here and the $5 bill. So just switch them. Step three. I will take the bill at C. So, ooh, right off the bat, that $100 goes off the table. I'm very sorry. But you know what? There's still lots of other money that you can win. We've got 50, 20, 10, and 5. Lots of money that you can still win, even though the $100 is now off the table. We'll keep going. Step four, switch the $1 bill with either side. So here's the $1 bill. Either side, that means they can switch it with this bill here or down with this bill here. Free choice uh, by the spectator, they can switch this dollar bill with either side. Let's just say they switch it with uh, this one here. Free choice. Step five, I will take the bill at D, which is the $5 bill. That's okay, no big deal, only $5. We still got the 10, the 50, and the 20 
uh, possible for the spectator to win. Step six, switch the $1 bill again with either side. So there's no bill up here. They could switch it down here with the 20 or across with the 50. Let's say they switch it with the 50. Free choices, all of these. Step seven, I will take the bill at E, which is, ooh, the $50. That is off the table now as well. Very sorry, but you know what? All is not lost. We've got the $10 bill and the $20 bill. You can still walk away potentially with $30 in your pocket. So we'll keep going here and see what happens. Step eight, switch the $1 bill with either side. Uh, now at this point, we're kind of running out of options as we eliminate bills. There's no bill here to switch it with, no bill here. You're kind of left with your only option of switching it with the 10. So we'll just do that. Step nine, I will take the bill at B, which is that $10 that goes back to me, leaving us with only $20 that the spectator can win. But you know what? That's still $20. That can still buy a, a couple of drinks or a nice meal somewhere. So we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully you can still win 20 bucks here at the end of this game. Step 10, take the bill at F and give it to me. $20 is now off the table. Final step, you may keep what is left, which is your dollar bill uh, that actually you loaned me at the beginning of the trick. So I'll just give you your $1 bill back and thank you for playing. And that is it. I'm sorry you didn't win any of my $185, but uh, I hope you had fun nonetheless. So uh, guys, that's called the $185 challenge, real fun trick. Uh, I bought this uh, online a couple months ago, and I have to say it's probably in my probably top two or three uh, favorite magic tricks that I've bought in the last year. So I would definitely recommend this trick. Uh, I got it from Penguin, and at, I think it was only 15 bucks uh, when I bought it. So I would definitely highly recommend checking this trick out. And one thing that I have to say for this trick is before I bought the trick, I thought that there was some sort of secret, um, or I, I thought the secret rather was that one of the bills has to start on a certain letter for the trick to work. That somehow you have to force one of these bills to start at a certain spot. And that's not the case at all. Any of these six bills can start on any of these six spaces. Whatever the spectator wants, you go through the cards and this trick will always work. So for 15 bucks, guys, I cannot recommend this trick enough. So I'd encourage you guys to check it out. So uh, that is the effect for today. You guys, long video, I know, but I appreciate you guys sticking with it and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know your thoughts, your comments uh, in, the, in the section, the comment section below. Uh, and be sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So uh, that is the trick for today, you guys. Coming back soon for more, more magic videos and have a great rest of your day. I'll see you later.